all my beautiful astro friends. Welcome to your weekly horoscope of May 26th to the 31st of 2021. I'm Alia, your astrologer. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're already part of my astro tribe, welcome back. We have a fabulous, fabulous week coming our way. I actually see this week divided into uh, two very opposite energies. We have some challenging energies and also some easy and harmonious energies, which is always fabulous. So of course, we start off uh, the week with Mercury becoming invisible, right? Until July the 2nd. And when Mercury becomes invisible, it is harder to start new projects uh, related you know, co to commerce or trading or business, media, writing, marketing, people ruled by, you know, Gemini and uh, Virgo, uh, Sun, Moon or Ascendant will feel less initiative and more introspective during this time uh, because they are ruled by Mercury, of course, right? So on Thursday, May 27, Venus squares Neptune. Now, what is Venus about, right? Venus is the goddess of love. Uh, it's in, in astrology is considered to be the goddess of love and it governs beauty, harmony, joy, money, right? Pleasure. Uh, it's a very, very magnetic energy. Uh, it points to the kind of amusements we are drawn to, right? It will magnetize. Uh, so wherever you have Venus in your chart, in your natal chart, that is where you would actually feel more emotionally triggered by its magnetism, right? When you have this, wherever you have this on your natal chart, take a look at it because you'll know where Venus's strength is. Now it's the same thing, you know, when, um, when Venus is transiting as well, uh, your natal chart, right? For all of us, wherever it's, it's transiting, uh, you would, you would want to check that area of your chart to determine how to navigate this energy. Right now, Venus is uh, transiting in the sign of Gemini. So check where Gemini is in your natal chart and see if there are any of your natal planets in that area, uh, you know, where Venus is transiting at this time, um, that are being triggered right right now what are what are those planets that are being triggered either by conjunction square sextiles or trine right and if you do if you do have any any planets there or or, um, or aspects to any of your natal planets then this transit may impact you even more regardless of this the, the aspect whether you have them or not right whether whether they are conjunct or not venus is considered to be a benefic planet so even if you have hard aspects this energy will Will still make it a bit easier to navigate right you won't feel it as much because it, it is a, a benefic planet so now let's talk about Neptune now Neptune is the god of the sea the planet of idealism right mystery illusion confusion deception escapism imagination fantasy is such a creative and incredible energy right uh, but it also has its you know it's it's, it's lower vibration so Neptune represents our dream right our dream life and all things hidden in our mystic qualities uh, it's also a very spiritual compassionate loving and forgiving planet when it comes to the suffering of others right it, it its realm is the subconscious world the hidden memory the intuition and clairvoyance right it's also a highly highly creative planet it's the a modern uh, ruler of Pisces right the most creative sign of the zodiac the people with strong uh, Neptunes are extremely extremely creative in music, art, drama, poetry, uh, dance, right? It is also a planet of uh, uh, no boundaries, right? So you've got to be careful uh, to, when you set boundaries. I mean, you can't really, it's hard to set boundaries when you have Neptune involved. So which can lead to addictions, right? And excessive behavior for good or bad. Um, so um, it just depends on where it is and how we can actually hold into it and how we can nav navigate this energy. Um, so the planets which, uh, the planet's position in your chart will indicate the kind of ideals and goals you have, right? How psychic and visionary you are. Because uh, uh, Pisces is a very psychic 
energy as well and with neptune of course it's even more and uh, whether you possess a magnetic allure that people respond to right uh neptunian energy is very fluid right it's a it's a mutable energy so it's very fluid so with the venus square neptune this is a great energy to pamper yourself and to splurge right a bit um by treating yourself to a spa with a like a full body relaxing you know deep tissue massage maybe a romantic massage for two uh it's in order for you guys right this is also a very very kind and compassionate energy so you would feel fabulous in helping others in need uh neptunian energy is all about that helping others in need right very compassionate now square is an aspect of taking action it motivates and inspires us by challenging us to take action to bring change right um creativity and inspiration into our life now check where this energy is falling in your chart in your personal natal chart so you can take action on that area of your horoscope right that's where the focus is going to be so that's where you want to be able to take those uh, make those changes so with this energy we might feel more emotionally confused right uh, about certain things in our relationship right we may also feel sense of escapism and emotional vulnerability right this energy can also be very very misleading and confusing neptunian energy can be very foggy uh very confusing right uh because there is absolutely no boundary as well so you might be taken advantage of or you might take advantage of someone or others and you know in and and their kindness so be be aware of that uh, you can also have unrealistic perception towards your relationships uh, your action may also appear emotionally unreliable and unstable at this time and also be cautious about your money because this energy can also bring financial losses so you want to be you know you want to be careful with that now on saturday may 29th mercury will conjunct venus this is a great energy um but it requires us to to acknowledge and take some action right otherwise it will just pass us by like many good things that we don't take advantage of um, with this energy we may want to open our hearts and feelings to our partner right um, venus is all about that great time to go on a romantic date and have ton of fun and amusement i mean it's such a beautiful energy we may receive good news with this energy mercury is all about news so we may be getting some fabulous news our way right we may uh, also have some great ideas and mercury is also about ideas um, on making more money right venus is about money uh, successful business or social meetings planning and organizing all sorts of events are also very very favorable at this time now on saturday May 29th mercury retrogrades yes again mercury retrogrades so but it's okay it's okay we go through this all the time and we're very used to it so this is not a good time though to start anything brand new right any new project hold off uh, this is a good time to complete and uh, you know and put final touches or final additions on already started projects uh to edit revisit replan and reschedule re you know re revisit all of this people from your your past can reappear or get in touch with you miscommunication are also very possible and all things unsaid will now come to surface to be addressed uh while this energy is uh is with us this can be um there can be a change of plans also in your daily routine and in your daily business activities as well. But if you really put your mental effort and focus, you are really likely to come up with the with the better, you know, a more polished and well well-rounded result by the end of uh end of this period even if if the process of getting there you know feels a bit uncomfortable or frustrating but you will definitely focus on this energy and you'll definitely prosper uh whatever in whatever uh goals or aspiration that you're working or projects that you're working with this is also when we must 
uh, be very cautious about uh, all interactions, right? Pertaining to sending emails, right? Giving information, uh, any negotiations, signing contracts, and all types of important communications and uh, conversations, right? It's really, really important that we look, look, you know, read that, read the fine lines, and uh, read the emails before we send it out. Uh, many times before we send it out, so really, really important. So on Monday, May thirty first, Mars trines Neptune. Now this is a very beautiful energy where your actions are supported by your intuition. Uh, Neptune is all about intuition. You may feel pulled, right, to go in a certain direction, which feels right. You know, it feels like um, almost fated. Neptune is about compassion, so you may feel a need to. Um, to inspire or help others in need with your kindness um, and, and compassion. This is a great energy to do something spiritual like meditation, yoga, um, or in, you know, immerse yourself into a relaxing bath, music, or art, right? Such an incredible energy and we all should really take advantage of this. These are the energies that are coming our way this week. I mean, I hope that you are going to take um, you know, advantage of all of the energies and enjoy them, right? And we've got some trines and we've got some action-oriented energies, I like to call them. And even if they're squares and they're challenging, I find them action-oriented. So take those actions, right? Now, if you like this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. And please don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're always, always, always notified. I post two videos a week. One is for weekly energies forecasts and other um, is for astro style forecasts, which, we, in, which entails so many different things. We work with flowers, with gemstones, with colors, with styles, with fashion. It's just really, really fun videos. I love them. Thank you so much. I love you all. And as always, remember to smile and know that you're absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Take care for now. I will see you next week. Bye.